Oh my god. I thought I smelled something sneaking into my house. Good evening. Laris, lots and lots. Welcome to the click. You smell absolutely amazing. That's why you are completely busted. <laughs> you should make sure not to smell so absolutely nice if you try to stink into my house. Anyway, as a day we're going to look at r slash nope, which is just what the name suggests. Stuff that just makes you go, uh uh, nope. And we're going to nope together, so I do hope. You're here for a little bit of healthy noping. Mwah. And remember to cry. We're only 15 years away from hitting 10 million subscribers on the channel. Oh, I can't wait. Maybe that's gonna align with my middle age crisis. So when we hit 10 million on the channel, I like buy myself a nice motorcycle and, and all that kind of stuff. I dye my hair like uh, the rainbow colors and that kind of stuff. It's gonna be amazing. The big ass spider in my room is now named Cotton Eye Joe because I want to know two things. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? <laughs> I think that's worse than actually seeing a bug, you know? The feeling of like every tingling or any part of your hair on your body that might itch a bit. It's like, oh, oh is it the bug? No? Oh, I'm just itchy by myself. So here's a big old building and look at that staircase right there. Oh, yes, indeed. You know, if the fire is burning, it's about equally dangerous to just <laughs> run out on this staircase and it only brings you one floor down anyway. Why is this a thing? It's so stupid. Oh my god. The bear from Netflix Annihilation will never not haunt my dreams. Oh yeah, that's a good boy. I saw that movie. So the whole plotline, spoiler, by the way, is based on the element of like alien stuff coming to Earth and it starts to merge DNA of all kind of things. So this is like a rabid bear that eats a couple of humans and gets human DNA in it. Hence the little cutesy melted face into the side of the skull right there. And also instead of like roaring and stuff when it's upset and angry, it, it has the death scream coming out of its throat uh, from, from one person it killed. So when it goes and like growls around, you can hear the voice of the of the person it ate beforehand. It's like, help! It's uh, really heckin' heckin' scary. That's one of my favorite scenes from modern horror movies, not gonna lie. You will have to walk through this to save your friend's life. What would you do? Oh, what a treat! A good thing I have no friends! <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. So you know this classic black and white photo of people sitting on this nice iron bar having a lunch? Well, here it is recreated. I'm not sure if I would keep my lunch uh, so much. I would probably just uh, get other stuff out the other end if I try to do this photo myself. <laughs> Which is bad for my friends too, because I'm assuming the uh, the excretions are a little bit slippery. Hey guys, got another poisonous plant to show you, and it's oh, growing dear. in my backyard right here. Oh, <gasps> this palm tree right here. This a is toxic plant. Toxic it's a Twitter it's user. Mm. All right, so we're gonna take the berry and rub it on a microscope slide, just like this. You know the fact that he's wearing gloves just to touch it is uh, not is promising. So terrible. Using this USB microscope, we can see that all the liquid inside of this plant is just filled with thousands of microscopic needles. Oh my needles god. Are what? called raphides, and they're actually crystals of calcium oxalate. It's a type of defense mechanism for plants. They easily penetrate into the skin and cause irritation. In some plants, the crystals can also be laced with poisons. What, what makes this particularly bad, though, is the pain is not immediate. Oh, come on! It takes a few minutes for the pain to begin, and by that time, it's too late to wash it off, and the pain quickly becomes unbearable. Trust me, guys, avoid this. A G, what a treat. Freaking sadistic bullshit plant. It's like, I'm not gonna hurt you right away, but if you're stupid enough to touch my fruits, you will hurt in a couple of minutes. It's like, what's the thing you have, like the, the foam inside of walls, you know, that gets really itchy. It doesn't start itching right away. It does so after a little while, which is horrible because at that point you already exposed yourself too much. By the way, wholesome side rant, if you are a younger individual, this also goes for, well, alcohol, not only <laughs> venomous fruits in nature. Um, alcohol takes a little bit of time to have an effect, so so if you're not used to drinking, take it slowly, learn your resistance, learn your pace. Don't be like, oh my god, I'm so bring up, let me just drink a Krypton right away. It's like, no, no, it's in your tummy, it's getting absorbed by your body, slowly but surely. So be careful out there, um, not only with venomous plants, but with alcohol as well. A lot of things have a delayed reaction in life. So I just had the shite creeped out of me. I'm not someone who believes in ghosts, but I was sitting in my room, alone and in the dark, and hearing the strings saw my violin be softly plucked. My violin is hanging on the wall several feet away. So I gathered my courage, grabbed my phone, and used the camera light to investigate, and found this. It's a little spider. A gosh darn spider was playing my violin, not even joking. The little shite. 
Ah, I think I would have preferred a ghost. But no, it's just a little place, boulder. Oh my god, they eat mosquitoes, okay? Spiders are a vibe. They're good boys, okay? Most of the time. But they're not in our bed sheets. Do you know what to do if you're bitten by a tarantula hawk wasp? By a what? <laughs> That's a, what is this? How about it exist? Evolution, what have you done? I would say, at this point, I've come to the conclusion that God is definitely not real, but Satan might be. So here we are in the little lift bar to create the mass extinction. Oh, <laughs> how unfortunate. So here we got just a nice little diving class. Look at this. Very wholesome. Kind of dark, though. It's it's a bit... It's a bit... Sp what is that? What is... Wh wait, what? Are those skeletons? What? Why have someone set up a table underwater in dark, murky water with skeletons just vibing? This is so eerie. Can you imagine coming across this all by yourself, just swimming like, I'm gonna practice my diving stuff, and you bump into- One of the skeletons even has a snorkel! I wonder if this is like a piece of art, or like a prank, or what on earth this is supposed to be. It's kind of fascinating. If you are ever feeling stressed, just remember there's a 50-lane highway in China that merges into four. <sighs> oh, why would anyone do- Oh my, what have you done? Please. I can get anxious enough in, in traffic as it is when people are silly and stressful and, and don't show what they're doing, but this is just... Can you imagine constantly being on your tippy toes for like the 45 minutes to five hours it takes to just drive into those files? This is a nightmare. Okay, so these ants are insane. It's like big protector ants. Oh my god, what? That are looking after the little ones. Those the guys are gnarly and they attack and they bite. But if anything like touches it, they like attack and what? <laughs> Epic. Epic! Someone explained what this might be on a completely different note. I think they explained that they do this sometimes when they transport the queen or something like that. Or, you know, they protect the most important ants in the colony and they basically transport them. I think that's what it might be, but feel free to correct me in the comments. Let's have a little, little natural geographic discussion going on here and I can mark the video as educational for the whole family. So here's the little kid's toilet. Oh my god, look at that, you have a friend. This is just, <laughs> this is like the Batman origin story. He didn't get stuck in a well, he got stuck in a toilet. And it's not like Batman, as in a man pretending to be a bat. It's just a bat pretending to be a man after getting stuck in a toilet. My my plot lines are different. Come, uh, come in, please. The door is open. Oh. Oh, on, on a different note, don't <laughs> come in, please. I mean, I like animals and stuff. There is a limit. Imagine if there was a duck, though. Oh my god. I mean, it's such a shame bears are so dangerous. They look so cute and fluffy, right? Wouldn't you just want to snuggle a bear? You know, not in a non-lethal way. <laughs> r slash nope. The terrifying Rosette Nebula. That looks so eerie. It looks like a ghost nebula. That is horrifying. And it's like, it looks like anything else in space. You know, it's just stars and a bit of dust and gases and stuff, and it's really big. But the colors, man. That looks so eerie. My house is 100 plus years old. This is a space we frequent as little as possible. So see here, they go up here and they open the floor. Why is it so tiny and dark and small and cramped and horrifying and creepy? And why is the house a hundred years old on top of that? Did you build this on like an old burial ground or something? Gee, maybe if you're feeling lonely in the future, you can just be like, hippity hoppity little ghost in your property. You mean a free friend? Why do they see hauntings reduce property value? It's free friends, you know? In this generation, we desperately need that. So here's a photograph an exterminator took. They were just heading up to an attic and look at the size of that hornet's nest. It's like half the attic. It doesn't look like a hornet's nest. It looks like a leak of something that has leaked out and just solidified over the entire floor. Yeah, I would've, I would've noped out of there. It's like, sorry, sorry, ma'am, this house is a lost cause. We, we, we can pay for some napalm. Would you like some napalm? Hmm. All right, is, is, is that a bear? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, they usually say that bears is in, are incredibly fast, but I don't think I've ever seen a bear run at full speed down a hill. It looks like so semi-clumsy and wobbly, but that is... That is... Oh my god! You can really tell how fast it is when it runs sideways. I'm glad the person was sitting in a car. That seems kind of safe. I was I was wondering at first, like, how long are they gonna keep filming for? 
<laughs> this is kind of brave for just standing there. Oh, look, honey, a bear charging right towards us. Let's just stand still here for a bit and let me take out my camera. Well, frick this shite. Snap. Boop. Welcome to hell. It's not so bad here. Snap. Uh, well, oh, shite, dude. Boop. Welcome to Burger King. Would you like to try our Oreo milkshake? That sounds nice. Our ice cream machine is down. Snap. Boop. Snap. Snap. Boop. Snap. Boop. This is the bottom, dude. The bottom is just a eternal freaking Burger King without an ice cream machine. Disgusting. A hornets found an old mask sitting in an abandoned shed and built a nest around it. Nope. Oh, gee. This will be an inspiration for a horror movie. That looks amazingly horrifying. I kind of like this. Can you imagine this having like spider legs or something? Just moving around and haunting your dreams? Yes, indeed. You know when they say dreams were meant to be broken? <laughs> in this case, I don't mind so much. Oh, look, it's summer in Sweden. What a treat. <gasps> what is... Oh, that is so big. Oh my god. This is like the wolves in Ark that you can run around like a small horse on. That is amazing. I, I, this reminds me of that Reddit posts where someone, someone's boss made a list of like which animals he can take on in a fist fight. And I think wolf was on the list of things he thought he could beat. After watching this thing, probably not. <laughs> A scale model of an Anrophropleuralia, an extinct species of millipede which lived around 300 million years ago. Look at that, what a vibe. Oh my god, what a good boy. If you don't like bugs and you know like, ooh, there, there, is, there is a bug in my yard when I'm doing my yard work. Can you imagine this thing just casually crawling through your, your strawberry garden or something? <laughs> Amazing. This right here is an Argentavis, I think it is, or Thunderbird. The biggest feathery boar that ever existed, apart from some flying lizards. Really fascinating. They were amazingly huge. This video right here is titled Baby Owls. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to some cute stuff in this video. Let's see here, so we just go above here to film the cute baby owls. Mmm. <sighs> was. I was like, ooh, gee, baby, this must be the cutest thing ever in this video. <laughs> and take that click. Why does it look like a scene from a horror movie? <laughs> it's so bad. My new room, I ran over my dog's poo and proceeded to clean the rest of my house. <laughs> I am going to need therapy. Look at that. What a treat. Why keep it in a corner where you can indulge the entire house and just savor the smell? I wonder, did they actually bother to clean out the room after this? I'm not sure if I would have bothered to try to clean out the room after this. I would just have probably done that old classic thing where I put the room by in a sack with rocks and just sink it to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> in I Am Legend, the mannequin that makes Will Smith's character freak out actually moves its head. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, what? Is this like an easter egg placed? Is it a mistake by the director? Or is it intended in the story? Because if I remember the movie, he has like a mannequin he goes and talks to because, you know, he's the, he's the last man on earth. And he's trying to make friends with his little puppy dog and mannequins and stuff. And uh, the, the infected ones, they place this one on the street to kind of freak him out and bait him. Is this intended? It is really weird if it is intended. That is freaky. She would be better off sandpapering a lion's butt in a pair of pork chop panties than be caught on the other side of this fence. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll nope that one. Thank you very much. Abandoned funeral home, casket room, video is mine. Oh gee, what a treat. You know, I can't wait to play Mortuary Assistant IRL. Isn't that going to be absolutely amazing? Can you imagine if that turns into a theme park thing? You just get to do these weird mortuary things on, on like dolls. And they're like really fleshy dolls. And then there are people running around dressed as ghosts. Can you imagine that? It's like those horror houses you have at theme parks, but like times a hundred. Oh dear god, I would die. Literally. So right here is a microscope picture of a drop of ocean water. That looks very icky and sticky when, when you look at it like this. I love the little crab thing down in the right corner though. He's just vibing. Look at that. Wouldn't that be an amazing pet? I mean, it's a bit small maybe. It's going to be difficult to vibe with on a personal level, but, but he's just vibing. Oh my god, what a vibe. Okay, what is this? What, what is that? Is that crab legs? What is that? No, it's snacks. <laughs> oh my god. What? They're all just looking. This feels like a scene from Star Wars or something. What is this? Can you imagine stepping in this thing by mistake? Why aren't they doing anything? They're just staring. What are they waiting for? I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if they all of a sudden just spring out and just catapult like from a nail gun. So here we got a little bit of traffic. Just, oh, that's a weird U-turn. Okay, that's... Why are you driving so s weird? That's not a legal U-turn. Oh, 
Okay, I see. Well, I would probably also make an illegal U-turn at this point. <laughs> Oh my god, it just the houses come floating casually? That is mind-blowing. The houses are intact. They're just kind of sliding along. Can you ima I just imagine myself, you know, when I'm old and retired, just sitting in one of those houses, just floating away, like, Yeah, Martha, it seems a bit shaky today. Oh my! And just not even, not even caring. That's amazing. If you think housing is too expensive, that's how you move. You just float along. <laughs> okay, so there's like a little hole by the street where they're doing work. What? What? What is, what is that? Oh my... Is that Godzilla? Or is it an anaconda? I can't even... T that's insane! Can you imagine, like, dropping your keys down this hole and hopping in after them? Just... Oh, gee! Well, I became lunch today. <laughs> the irony. Demolished house. Uh, we found a spider. Fixing problem. Oh, I'm glad... To, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad the spider... <laughs> spider patrol is on it. <laughs> Look how packed this water park in China is. Oh my god. How are people not dying in this? Like, I'm just kind of mind blown that this is considered safe. Is it considered safe? Because imagine if you have a kid or something that just slips through their little ring and just ends up underneath everyone. They will die, right? This can't be safe. Ah, it's just raining. Speak. That was very close. Uh. <laughs> He's just noping out! It's not. Nope, I'm gonna be proper about it, but I am out of here. <laughs> I, I can guard from the inside. It's fine. It's not like anyone is gonna go for the house, you know, in that kind of weather anyway, you know. It's fine. Why guard something when no one else is gonna come? Oh my god, look, it's the little snacks from that other video that have kind of grown up. It's a snack, right? It is. That's an anaconda. Look how freaking thick it is. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It looks like the Anaconda movies, you know, those weird little horror movies with the big-ass snakes? They were just documentaries, after all. Ooh, gee, what a treat. Let's see, what do we have? <gasps> a bunch of ducks! Oh my god, I am in heaven. This is basically where I'm gonna live in the future. Look, it's Swedish summer, perfect, and a bunch of ducks, and oh, this is just the vibe. And that's not, it's cold. It's not, it's, it's a bad Swedish summer day, so we, <laughs> we just run back inside. <laughs> They just went out, realized the pond was still frozen, and just like, nah, nah, screw this. <laughs> One thing I, I am not jealous about, though, is imagine how much duck poo you're gonna have to deal with in a house. You have like 50 ducks in a tiny house. How do you do that? Look at this cute picture of a dog, oh god. For those who don't check our Insta stories, here's a picture of Maddie smiling. You know, smiles are subjective, I, I suppose, but... <sighs> oh... So here we got a little bit of a hole in the floor, and where on earth does this lead? What? And you even have a lantern that pokes- Oh my god, it's just a deep well. Is this where you put the kids when they are rambunctious? <laughs> well, Jimmy, you better behave, or down in the hole you go. Please, Grandpa, I don't wanna go in the hole! And it's a literal heckin' hole in the floor that just leads down 20 meters to a well. This must be an old well, right? That must be what this is. But why would you have, like, a floor like- This doesn't seem safe. Imagine if you have a grandkids over and just messing around. You just, nope, oh, oh, just slip down the well. Well, that's a good thing we have more than one grandkid. My buddy's dog, so a moose. Wolf? <gasps> it's a moosey boy. That is so nice. I mean, it's it looks like a goodle, I think. Or are those horns? It's hard to tell. It's very pixelated, but it's a good moose. Moose are amazing. Thank you. Today I learned that when pelicans are hot, they can take their spine out of their mouth to cool down. Look at that. How wholesome. Yeah, take it in. Wholesome. Wholesome vibes. Video is, uh, educational. Say hello to the ringed salian, what might be the world's only no venomous amphibian. That looks like the mouth from Alien. Is this where the inspiration comes from? That looks exactly like the mouth from Alien. I suppose it's venomous instead of just being acidic, but... <laughs> what a treat. Oh, it's a little danger noodle. Oh, look at danger noodle yawning. Oh, so... Cute. Why... Why are you turning your face inside out, Danger Noodle? Not very good, you have to hold your mouth when you yawn and turn your face inside out, Danger Noodle? Here is what it might be to travel on a double-decker airplane seat. Look at that, what a treat. Do you want to smell a stranger's anus the entire flight? <laughs> Not to mention, like, the sheer claustrophobia this looks like. I mean, I understand the optimization and stuff, but farts and claustrophobia should not be messed with. This is absolutely horrendous. I decided to draw the weird creature that was stalking me in my dream. That looks 
really cool. This looks like something that will come out of a mix between Stranger Things and Elden Ring. It's really cool. It has that like creepy abstract vibe to it where like the dimensions of things is just a bit off to make it seem really eerie. I love this. This is really cool. Uh, yeah, no. Perhaps the most terrifying space photograph ever. Astronaut Bruce McCandles 2 floats untethered away from the safety of the space shuttle, with nothing but his manned maneuvering unit keeping him alive. The first person in history to do so. Yeah, that seems very scary. Because at that point, if you float away too far, there is no getting you back. You know, there is just vacuum in space. So if you have a trajectory, you will just keep going in that trajectory, either until you die or until you crash back on Earth, depending on which uh, trajectory and if you have a stable orbit. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a treat, isn't it? <laughs> what does this mean? Nebraska said in Nebraska. Oh my God. Why is the Nebraska? Explain your mosquitoes, please. I'm, I'm not sure if one of those little mosquito candles is gonna help here. Ah, stay away, please. This feels like a fa bad fantasy item, right? Instead of having like anti-beast torch, you have like a little candle as opposed to hold mosquitoes away, but they didn't tell you that they're car sized. <laughs> Woke up this morning and found my cats guarding my basement like this. Ah, oh, they're just summoning Satan, don't worry about it. You can go down and join if you like, you know, just... It's a vibe, okay? It's a vibe. The Airbnb I'm staying in says it's laundry room, so I'll be wearing my dirty clothes all week. <laughs> Go down into the laundry room, Susan. Go down into the laundry room, it, they will be cleaned by the saliva of the demon. Don't worry about it. What is going... Oh, I see. It's a hermit crab that has chosen a doll's head as its new shell. That is absolutely horrifying. The only thing more horrifying would be if it chose an actual skull. That is so creepy. I feel like I've seen something similar in some horror game or movie, right? This feels eerily familiar. But props props to the freaking crab. Nobody's gonna come close to touch you now. You have bested evolution. I salute you, my crustacean sir. Oh, I love childhood memories. I can't be the only one who was just waiting for it to, like, stare into the camera and come eerily close. Um, I'm very glad it didn't. I might sleep tonight. Oh, look at this little animation loop. That looks amazing. This is basically anxiety in, in a perfect picture. You just constantly, constantly, almost on the edge of falling down, or at least the notion of being so. This is what it feels sometimes to run a YouTube channel. It's like, oh my god, I have to feel the algorithm a day. I haven't uploaded in like two and a half days. Oh my god, the last video got in trouble. There's a demonetization. I have to do this. Oh my god, this thing right here is waiting for me. This paperwork here and this finger. Oh my god, no, no, please get it closer. No, go, 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 go. It's a nasty feeling. Um, it's good not to get stuck in because it's not healthy. And if you don't unstuck yourself, it will be perpetual. Yeesh. Oh, we got high heels. Okay, okay. Okay, don't. Don't do- no, don't do a backflip. Don't do- it's gonna- it's- it, high heels are not great for this. I told you. High heels are not great for this. Oh dear. How do you do an Australian accent? It's like, oh, I let- no, that's- that's- the, that's- that's not even close. It's like, in Australia. Is that it? I'm gonna say that that's it. In Australia, we don't lick our doors because we're scared of armed intruders. We lock doors to keep the frickin' ruse out. I have no idea what that accent was, but <laughs> here's, here's a really creepy looking row. <laughs> Could you, theoretically, bring up a kangaroo to be your personal bodyguard? Is that feasible? Does anyone in, in, down below know? Are like kangaroos feasible to domesticate and have them as bodyguards? I, I kind of want a kangaroo bodyguard. And a duck? Is that po Please tell me it's possible. Me, after stepping on a radioactive Lego brick. <gasps> oh, it's Lego Man. Woo, the superpower of attaching random plastic blocks to your limbs. Yeah, please help us, Lego Man. He will probably cause more nightmares than he will save the day, but yay, Lego Man. Is that a hyena? Oh, look at the. Oh, so, so sweet. Hyenas look kind of cute. Oh, oh, that's yeah, that's that's very cute. Aww, it's so fluffy and sweet. You know, hyenas are way cuter up close than, for example, what old Disney movies used to portray them. Hyenas were always like the raggedy ass looking ones, right? They were always like weird and unstable and like a bit a bit mental. But this is really cute. I mean, the teeth are horrifying because you know they can literally crush bone, but it looks kind of cute though, right? Right? It looks it looks cute. So this is a video clip from, I think, the International Space Station, or at least some training thing, 
So basically, sometimes astronauts get stuck in mid-air, because, you know, if, you, if you're not floating in a specific direction and everything is out of reach, you'll just be stuck floating there. You know, there's not much you can do about it. So they have this exercise they do, in particular ways to move the body with the air resistance and stuff and throwing your weight, so you can slightly, slightly move to get yourself unstuck. And it takes a minute. <laughs> Look at that. So slowly, slowly, you see, slowly moving. Slowly. And there we go. And all that effort, you moved like, what, two decimeters or something? God damn. That is horrifying. Imagine like getting stuck like that in zero gravity. Everything is out of reach and you don't know how to actually start moving. That's kind of freaky. That's kind of freaky. One thing you can do, which I just thought about, is if you're wearing something heavy, you can just kind of uh, toss it away from you, and that will kind of lunge you in one direction. Not indefinitely, because the air resistance will slow you down, so depending on how heavy it is. But this just brings me to the idea of like, oh my god, I'm so desperate and stuck, let me just take off my pants and toss them in a direction and hope they're heavy enough to push me in reach of something. Ah, physics. Here we go, we got the little- oh! What is that? Is that a tongue? <gasps> it's a little wall lizard. Oh, what a treat. Look at that arm. That looks so much like one of those doll robotic arms they used in special effects in, you know, horror movies and stuff from like the 80s. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I appreciate you, uh, wall lizard. Ooh, gee. I love traveling by subway alone. Be your next stop, question mark. Sorry, what? 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 Whoa! <laughs> That genuinely scared me! Holy sh**! My heart is pounding! This would be an amazing intro to a horror game. Oh my god. At least I'm still <coughs> young and fertile enough that my heart is strong enough to handle this. <sighs> so this next one is going to make your buttocks tingle. Look at this. We have a drive-in theater showing Jaws. But it is not any drive-in theater. Oh no. You might call this one a swim in theater. So you're just sitting there in your floaty ring watching Jaws in the dark of the night. <laughs> Excellent. So it's hatching. Look at this. Oh, is that a little crook? Is a little crook? Oh my god, look at that little butt. What a good boy. It's just wagging its tail. Aw. Look at that heartless demon. Oh, it's so cute, brushing the teeth. Look at that, it's just vibing and enjoying itself. It's reading, it's getting ready for college. That is so good. It's out walking. Okay, that, seem, that, that seems questionable. Well, that seems like a vibe, though. Oh, now we're at Walmart. All right, cool. I don't think those two were the same crocodile. The one in the middle clips looked way bigger. I think that was from a news story. Anyway, it's picking out its favorite toy. And it's waiting for it, and it's going home with toy. Very good. Yeah, that's definitely a different one. That's so much bigger. <laughs> okay, and here's back home again. A little crocodile, and it's just resting on little tummy. Take your croc to Walmart. You know all, all weird stuff that happens at Walmart? If you have a croc, that's the ultimate scary dog privilege. Nothing bad is gonna touch you, okay? Except maybe the croc, depending on how raceable they are. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's a gator. So before people go wild in the comments, it's probably a gator, okay? Don't worry, don't worry about it. Who cares? It's a scaly boy. Oh! Oh, what a treat! Uh, oh, uh, you look very happy for some reason. Is it because you're highly, highly venomous and I am uh, gonna die any second? Wow. So you know on tall buildings, it's very important to have a fire escape. Because what if a fire starts beneath you and you can't get out of the building? No worries. We place ladders on buildings just for that reason. But what is better than a ladder than a really tall spiral staircase? Mmm. That is, uh, that is something. When I see pictures like this, I always think it's such a shame. You see those big rooftops? That would make for such amazing large gardens. You know, just on the top of rooftops. That'd be such a vibe. The Temelin nuclear power plant sometimes projects giant eyes on its 500-foot cooling towers. <laughs> <laughs> big nuclear is watching you. <clears throat> In the Welsh Christmas tradition of Mary Lived, a horse skull visits your home singing rhymes outside your door. That's not even the best part. The person inside needs to sing back with excuses why Lived can't come in. It goes back and forth until one gives up. If the person at the house can't respond, they let Lived in and gets to raid your pantry and drink all your beer. So you're rap battling a horse skeleton to keep all your alcohol? And here I thought the Welsh had nothing to offer beside consonants. <laughs> 
That's an amazing tradition, though. I thought it was gonna be something horrifying. Like, oh, it's gonna kidnap your kids or something. But no, it's it's just it's just a little beer-hungry horse. Uh, no thanks. I'll walk. UberX, Jonathan! <sighs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I would walk too. My little sister has an obsession with cutting the faces off baby dolls slash stuffed animals and putting them on other dolls. Help. Oh! Oh my god! Uh, your little sister is either a potential plastic surgeon or a serial killer. There is no in between. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> Maybe it's like a plastic surgeon that like, covers its tracks by, you know, masking the corpses of the murder victims with other faces so the cops can't track them and they have no idea who the victims actually are because they look different than the person missing. And it's all just kabadoosh. That would make for a kind of good series if you take the fact that DNA testing is like a thing nowadays, but that would make like a good thing before that was a thing. Imagine like a, like a murder series thing from right before DNA testing was a thing and there was like a plastic surgeon that made their victims look different. That's kind of a good plot, right? That's, that's not too bad. Maybe it already exists. So here is a crystal clear lake. Somehow, this feels more eerie than when it's just like a bit like muddy and not see-through. Oh dear god, I'm just expecting to see the shadow of something big just whooshing past in the distance. This could be the setting for a horror game. There's so many good settings for horror games. Love this. So look here, you let Meow Meow out and it goes out into the snow and then it walks back around and nope, let me back in, human. Stupid human. Oh, I think I've seen this one before. It's a robot of it. With, with the little kid yelling there at the side. That is so spoopy. Man, I love this. This is like one of those old horror rides that they had in, you know, Tivoli's and stuff. Maybe they still have them at some place, I don't know. But I distinctly remember going a couple of those where they have like these robotic dolls and stuff jumping out and going a boogie boogie boo. This is like that, but much higher quality. Guy found a glass eye embedded in the rock at a beach. <laughs> that looks so eerie. It looks like someone has been buried alive or something or turned into stone. Oh my God. I would have such a shock if I found this on the beach. That is so eerie, what? Okay, you can do this, just ignore the statues, Are the not demons, it's night fine. Watch at a museum. You got this, you got this. Oh god. Oh god. You're not gonna come alive, right? Oh. Right? You're all just standing and chilling, right? Oh cool, they reflect in that. That's, that's cool, that's cool, this is fine, I'm fine, it's fine. I just imagine the video ending with one of them, like, getting up or something. Or turning around and one of them is missing. Also, wouldn't this be an amazing setting for another movie? Like, you know, you know Night at a Museum, right? That kind of movie plot, but a horror movie instead. And also, why do you need to guard something like this? Who in the right mind would go in here anyway? God, it's guarded by horror in the first place. Gee. Well, ladies, lasses, and lazos, I do hope you enjoyed this video despite it being very... nopey. But I'm so glad to have had you here with me to go through this absolute horror. It made me feel very comforted. Thank you so much for showing up here today, and I do hope to see you in the very near future. Have an amazing rest of your day. Mwah. Nope.